So this is the before. We went from this to this. So here we are in my backyard. It's about halfway done at this point. This is the area right outside of my kitchen. So this is gonna be like a seating patio area. I wanted to incorporate that crisscross floor look that I have inside the house out here. So if you remember my um, foyer had that really cool crisscross floor. I have the same kind of idea out here. And then there's gonna be a couch over here and just like I said, like a sitting area and little side chairs over here. It's starting to rain, so let's hurry up. So once you walk out of the kitchen, you're gonna walk out here and this is the pool area. Um, this is gonna be the jacuzzi. It's gonna have a cool tile all around it. And then we have a fire pit that's gonna be over here so you can roast marshmallows. Um, just don't drop your marshmallow because it is a gas fire pit. But anyways, and there's gonna be a cool, like this is all gonna be a seating area covered in pillows. So it'll be, you know, super comfy, really nice sized pool. This is gonna be a little bit of a bar area right here. So there's three stools that you can sit on and kind of have a drink. And there's also gonna be this waterfall that kind of floats from the pool into this little pit section. So it's almost like a infinity pool waterfall. Uh, back there, there's gonna be three fountains and two uh, fire pits, like fire bowls, basically. And, and there's gonna be like super cool lighting inside the pool. Over here, it's gonna be another seating area and it's gonna be a pergola roof up here. And there's gonna be a swing, like a little swing daybed um, right in the front out here. So you can chill on this daybed and kind of look at the view of the pool. And then over here, we're gonna have the little beds to lay on so you can sunbathe when you're out of the pool. Then we have the barbecue kitchen area. This is basically the, the kitchen. We do have our barbecue in already, which is exciting. Um, and then there's gonna be obviously a beautiful countertop over here and there will be stools. There will be, this will all be a seating area on this L-shaped side. And so you can eat here, chill here, cook here, um, serve drinks, you know, just be able to entertain guests. There will be a TV above the fireplace, so this will also be a sitting area with a beautiful couch, some side chairs. There's gonna be a changing room and storage um, area inside the little house. There will be like a big table and chairs somewhere. I haven't decided exactly where. Once all the hardscaping is done, we'll be able to figure that out. But this is the before. Can't wait to show you guys the after. Hey guys, here we are in my still unfinished backyard. It's been forever. They told me they'd be done two months ago. Um, it is, today is July 21st. Um, and they told me they'd be done by Memorial Day, which is literally two months ago. But we're hoping we'll be done by August 1st. It's my son's first birthday on the 30th and the party is on the 1st, so hopefully. But so far, as you see, I am sitting on our countertop, which has been an exciting um, addition to the kitchen in here. So we still have the ceiling to finish in here. Uh, once they finish the ceiling, they're gonna build, uh, build the tile, the stone up, and then the fireplace has to get done. So the pool tile is coming on tomorrow. They're supposed to start the tile, clean up the pool, and then by next week, they're supposed to put the plaster on and the same day they fill the water so we have the pergola built it's not finished it's gonna have like white columns on the side and there's gonna be this uh, well it's kind of already there so it's not finished like a day bed um swing so you can take a nap there and relax and my favorite actor is out and then there's gonna be like a sitting area right behind it and that's my bar area um so from the bar you can come out and chill and if you get too drunk you can take a nap outside hey guys welcome back to my backyard 
so we're finally finished and this is the finished product so we have this little shelf area in the pool so this is where you can just get your feet wet or spend time with the kids because it's pretty flat or you can even lay and sunbathe in this area eventually i think we'll put like lay bed chairs here but while we still have the little baby we're keeping it basically for him to hang out in. Then this is the hot tub. This gets super hot and it's awesome when it's chilly outside at night to just get in and get warm. So I wanted to do like a white white border around the pool. This is called white um, sandblasted marble, I think. And we have this iridescent tile all around. And it's really cool because it's like pink and blue and all these cool colors when it's sunny but when there's no sun, it's just like this kind of toned down gray color. And we have it all against the back of the pool as well. And then over here we have a little bar area and there's three bar stools in the pool. So if you wanted to bring your drink in, you could sit at the bar stool and drink by the bar. Um, back there, we actually have three fountains and then we have fire bowls on the corners of that back wall. We also have a fire pit seating area. So this is the fire pit. We can roast marshmallows here or just sit and hang out. So it's basically just like a sitting hangout area. So this is our like eating area. Um, we have an umbrella to cover it from the sun. I got this table and these chairs on Wayfair and I have this like seashell coral vibe going on. I got these at Home Goods. The chairs are just plastic, so they're good in any weather. And then the table has like a glass top, so it's very easy to clean. And it closes and opens really easy. You can like make it smaller or a little bit bigger. So over here we have the lay beds. I wanted something with a cushion because it's just way more comfortable to lay on. And of course, they're also white. I really wanted that white vibe because I feel like it's more of like, just reminds me of vacation, of like either Greece or Miami. I think in Mickey Beach, everything was like super white and it just, I don't know, I love it. Yeah, it does get dirty, but if you keep it up and keep it clean, it's really not that bad. So over here is the hangout area when you come out of the bar that on the inside, which you guys already saw that episode. Um, I have a few chairs out here and this really fun swing um, bed. So you can lay on here and you can swing. And I think this is like everybody's favorite spot. We got this inspiration from Thailand. We were at a hotel, I think it was maybe the Four Seasons and we were at the pool and we were well it's like near the pool this like sitting area and one of the things was this really cool bed with ropes so i also got these chairs on wayfair i thought they were so fun they're like super modern and edgy and have all these like just sharp corners and i felt like it matched with the with the vibe that we had going on back here um, we did this like crisscross floor because of all the sharp corners. I felt like these would do very well and of course they're white, but they do come in a lot of other colors. And I have my seashell, one of my huge seashells. I have two of these um, laying around. Just got that at Home Goods as well. And it's still like a little accessory that just looks cute outside. So this is also a pergola out here. Um, so as you see, it's just like pieces of wood kind of staggered and it makes like really beautiful lighting or for pictures or something because you have that, that staggered look. And we added the twinkly lights because for parties when you turn it on, it looks really pretty. And we had it painted like a darker color to match the darker stone that we have all around the yard. So this is like the garden area. I bought these little Buddha-like statues and just place them over there and we have this um, stripe of white rocks kind of bordering the entire yard like I said I really wanted white then up here this is where you would exit from the kitchen so the kitchen is in here and then this is the 
the other se seating area. Here's my seashell again. And I just got an L-shaped couch. Um, I'm probably eventually gonna get an umbrella over here. Um, we haven't spent much time out here, but it's also because the backyard was finished closer to the end of summer. And then there's just like a small little seating area here. The other area that we can eat is the kitchen, the outdoor kitchen barbecue area. So let's go there. So here we are in what we call the pavilion. So this is a whole little house kind of area. We have this gray ceiling. We have speakers in here. So on the wall, we have white stone going down the middle bordering the fireplace and the TV and the black stone on the sides. And then we just have a few couches, some chairs, and then I have more candle holders. Um, these have little starfish on them. Again, these are just from Home Goods. These pillows are my favorite. I got them at TJ Maxx. And then all the other pillows that you see in my yard, they're all just, they're custom made. And it was actually really cool because I bought these couches um and chairs i got it on this website called article and i had no idea that they perfectly matched the pillows that i got custom made it's the same fabric and the same design which was an accident but it was a really good one and then we have the little um changing room in here so when people come over they can change in here there's a mirror there's some chairs um i just like added some artwork so it's not so boring. This fireplace is super cool. Um, it changes colors. I love to turn it on at night because I'm always cold. All right, and then this is our kitchen area. So we have our broil king um, barbecue and we got this like, um, it's called honed granite. So it has like a texture to it. There's different, there's leathered, there's honed, and then there's just like the smooth kind. So this one has like not as much texture as a leathered, but more than a regular granite. These are bowls I bought at the store at home. And I use them as ashtrays for when we have guests over because we have thrown a few parties. Uh, this is one of the tequila bottles that someone left that I love. So I don't throw it out even though it's empty. And then we also have our outdoor sink. So we have um, a bunch of storage space here. We have a trash can over here, some more storage here. And then we have a fridge, which is usually packed with a bunch of sodas or wines or just like whatever. And then these chairs, these bar stools, um, they actually match the sectional couch that we have as well as the lay beds. It's all kind of the same collection with this like white vo woven look. They're not all the same company though, but they're all the same look. And these are Safavia and I got these on Amazon. So when we have parties, which me and my husband would love to entertain, or probably me more than him, but still, um, we have installed like surround sound speakers out here. So they're here in the pavilion, but they're also like all around the backyard. We actually have some that look like rocks. So they kind of blend in, but it's actually a speaker, so it's super cool. And sometimes when it gets too hot, even though you're outside, a fan does help. So we have this really cute fan that just looks like leaves. Also a great Wayfair purchase. Most of our backyard is actually controlled on our phone through a system, through a smart system. And it's so awesome because all you have to do is press a button. So for example, I want to turn on the fountain. So we wanted the front uh, landscaping to match what is going on in the back. So we have a little pathway here with the same pavers that's in the backyard. They're like that light gray, light blue color. And then we have a border with the darker gray. And then we added an extra border here, which kind of has like a, like a tan beige tint to it to match the stone on the house. Cause I felt like the blue didn't match perfectly. Um, but that definitely helped. And then we obviously also added the border of the white small stones. And then we have plants that, um, that will look nice in the winter, but also some of them bloom in the summer. So not everything is a blooming flower. Some of them are like evergreens and things that last throughout the winter and still look like you have some landscaping done and that not everything's dead. Cause that's really important when doing landscaping in our area um, in Pennsylvania, it's 
you know, we don't get warm weather all year round. Um, so with the landscaping, it is a little tricky, but so far, I think it looks good. And of course, we have our massive door, the custom made door, you get to see it on the outside. Um, it matches our railing and foyer on the inside. We went from this to this. 